What's going on YouTube? You know, this is the Big Fat Average Guy. Today, I got a real special guest, and he from, you know, only one spot, the SD area. Well, what's clack, up, clack, Slick? clack, clack. What's happening, homie? Yep, yep, that's right. So today, you know what I mean? He invited me down uh, to this spot. So uh, today, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be grading it uh, one through ten. Yeah, we're at the Soul Food Cafe. Shout out to the homie T-World for having me come through. That's right. This is a spot we've been coming to for over a decade, homie. And you know, this real, real, real homie on, on spot, and we're going to always support the homies. Woo, woo. Yeah, that. Yep, facts. All right, you two, I've been hearing a lot about this. Yeah. So so usually I get the fried chicken and waffle, but today I got the waffle and the, and the grilled chicken. You know what I mean? I, I never had it like that. Check out that chicken right there. Look at that coat, man. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Man, that was nice. Look, look like mom's put her hands on this one. <laughs> That's right. All right, you two. So I'm going to be giving a shot mm -hmm. on the waffle. Mm -hmm. Man, I'm bomb. Mm -hmm. Ooh, wait. What you know about that Kool Aid, though? The real old school Kool Aid. Yeah, so this is the old school Kool Aid he told me to grab. And I'm going to tell you, this thing is off the chains. I went through 10 on the Kool Aid by itself. A 9.6. <laughs> Straight up. Man, that thing banging. Now, grilled chicken and waffles. So here we go. Mm. Yeah. Man, I'm that thing ain't one right there. There you go. I need some hot sauce right quick. Usually when you have like the chicken breast, it dry. This one is not dry at all. This shit's wet and it bomb. Oh, there go the hot sauce right there. Yeah. So I'm gonna tell you, you two, on the grilled chicken and waffles, the waffle by itself, I'm, I'm gonna give them a 9.3. And on, on the grilled chicken, believe it or not, a 9.8. That's how bomb it is. Uh, how about you, Slick? Check it out, homie. I'm a little biased, homie. I came up off this, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm going straight 10 <laughs> on the chicken, homie. <laughs> 10, all right. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. That's how you make it at home. That's right. Mm -hmm. so, so, what's up, Slick? You been busy lately? Oh, man. I just, I just, um, shout out to, um, Bully Fit Las Vegas. We just did the, um, first annual. Bully, um, Las Vegas Bully Classic yesterday. Oh, that's right. I hosted it yesterday. Shout out to the homie, um, Rob over there, Ultimate Bullies. We hosted it together. The homie Caesar too. That's right. And um, yeah, man, it was a, it was a good thing. But aside from that, homie, I just been recording, homie. I'm finna put a record. I got a release date on my new album. Um, Selective Politics. It come out on the seventh of right. next month. And then also you just performed an SD too, didn't you? June seventh, and then I just um I performed at the San Diego um, Music Awards last week. Okay, that's right. I got nominated for like um best hip hop song, I think it was this year. That's right. I didn't win, but I won last year though. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and and also I've been seeing a lot on your IG and stuff. You're always going to the high school, showing love. Except to, to the youth and all that. Well, in my community, homie, in Southeast San Diego, that's pretty much the primary source of creating. That's right. Bosses in the, in in our in our yeah. in our city for the for our community. That's right. And so I just be doing what I can do to help that keep growing. You know what I'm saying? And right now we got a football program that's crazy right now. That's right. Top ten in the state for the last couple of years, and um. Putting a lot of little homies into the league, you know what I'm saying? That's right. We probably like the tenth most NFL in um, re, um, NFL players as far as high schools in the world. You oh, know wow. what I'm saying? That's it. That's Marcus right. Allen, Terrell Davis, a lot of lot, lot of big time ball players come out of our school, it's, right. and it's it's a family thing. And because of the stuff I do, and a lot of other homies in the community do, that's the reason why that school has been what it's been over the exactly. years. You know what I mean? Right. No, I'm, 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 I'm gonna tell you one thing about about you. I see a lot 
you're always giving back to the community. And I just wish a lot more people would do that. Over. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, I, I see you be passing out food, too, and stuff. You know what I mean? On the turf, on the weekend, right? Me and the homie Herm over there at uh, Monster Squad Fitness right there on my turf. That's my young homie. Okay. You know, the homie, you know, he had to go sit down for a while, but he came home strong. That's and, right. Um, you know, I love him for it, homie, the way he came and, and, is, and is putting his presence in the community. He got a gym right there on 47 and Logan. I mean, 40, not bad. A gym right on Imperial, I mean, Euclid and Logan. Okay. That's right. Come right down there, work out with the homies. And um, every Sunday, we give food away to all the, whoever, whoever got, whoever we got, we probably got enough. We ain't got no 18 wheeler. Work yeah. for food, but I got enough to feed a few families, and we've been doing it for the last couple years every Sunday. That's right. So if, if somebody want to donate to that, is there like a special website or something they could go to? Go to Monster Squad Fitness. Okay, that's right. It's Monster right. Squad Del Mar is on Instagram. Monster Squad Del Mar on Instagram. Okay, for sure, for sure. That's right. So mm -hmm. I got I got another question for you. So uh, you know I know you've been around the block, and you know I I know you worked with with a grip of artists all the way. You know what I mean? From uh from E40, you know, the homie right there, yeah. right man. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, from the homie E40 to Nipsey, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, to, to Slim, all, all like all mm -hmm. of you. Out of everyone you worked with, uh, who was your favorite? My favorite mm -hmm. to work with. Yeah. Well, what I'll say with is. To work with in the lab. Yeah. What I say is, I spend a lot of time around Nip. That's right. Uh, around Nip, so I mean, his producers and his main producer crew was my main producer crew. So we actually was around each other, you know, not every day or nothing like that. But my crew was around him every day, and so we got a lot of different experiences. So I ain't really. It's a little different with him, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. He and Nip would be in the studio and not recording, just yeah. talking shit and yeah. kicking game yeah. back and forth, survival shit, you know what yeah, I mean? Exactly. Yep. So that was most important to me. That's right. But you know, I'd be having fun working with all the homies, you know what I'm saying? That's right. Me and Slim Paul Hunter have some serious sessions too, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So a lot of times you don't be in the studio with who you're working with, you know? Yeah. But. When I work with Nip and when I work with Slim Fold, yeah. Right. Come to most, I mean, come to minutes. Like MCA, I didn't actually get to be in the studio with MCA, but that's going to be like one of my milestones as far as, yeah. you know. That's right. Right. You know, songs come together all kind of ways, you know. That's right. So I, 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 I oh, 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 but I say this though. Being in the studio and working with Game. Oh. Is a little different. Is it? And it's gonna be more, more like on a. It depends on what he on. Oh. I'd have been in the studio with Game, and it's, you know, like a party, <laughs> straight up, yep. like a dope real party. Yeah. You got writers up in there. You got, you know, a few little bras hanging out, homies. That's right. Niggas just working on music, and the music is up, and everybody getting to get a preview of how the how the streets gonna react to a record because it's already popping in the studio. Yeah, in the studio yeah. And that's the same as when I work with like Waka Flocka. Uh, like I never worked like that. Yeah. Studio for me ain't like playtime or party time. Yeah. But I guess if you know if I was doing all my business for the studio like it seemed like what they do, it might turn into that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But man, this chicken right here, I'm telling you, homie. The crust on the crust, homie. I'm telling you, yeah. man, the chicken, the chicken off the chains. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is bomb. It's nice and seasoned, then they got that bell pepper and onion. She's crazy. And stuff, you know what I mean? That they added on top of it, it just, it's perfect, homie. Mm -hmm. I never had grilled chicken and waffles. Mm -hmm. oh, I only had fried chicken and waffles. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So this grilled chicken is way different. But if you guys are in the area, of LV, Las Vegas, come tap in. I'm gonna make sure that, that I put the link below. So, yep. So with, the, with that being said, oh man, look, look at them, man, look at that. <laughs> Ooh -wee. Straight up. Yeah, so with that being said, you, uh, you, got, you got anything else to say? 
June seventh. Ride with me. It depends on when you gonna drop this. You gonna start dropping it now? Yeah, I'm gonna drop it in a few days. June seventh, y'all select the politics and listen, man. The authentic West Coast gangster shit, straight up gang gang music, man. You know, rock gangster rap, gang rap. Yep, facts. <laughs> so, all right, you two. With that being said, it's everyone you love. You love them, and for all the kids out there, stay on the right track. Mm -hmm. With that being said, we're up out of here, you two. Yeah, that. Put you. You guys are in the Las Vegas area. Please tap into the homies restaurant. I promise you will not regret it. It is a little pricey, but you pay what you get for. A lot of parking, nice clean environment. You know what I mean? He's always bumping some oldies. It's, it's, it's a real good spot, YouTube family. I highly, highly, highly recommend this. And also, and also YouTube family, I got a lot more celebrities that are tapping in. So you guys stay tuned. As a matter of fact, let me throw a name out there. I'll give you him, Bone Thugs and Harmony. I got a few of them coming on the show as well. So you guys stay tuned, man. I'm really looking forward to that one. Growing up as a fan, uh, you know what I mean? I just all I, I've just always been in into their music. It's banging. But with that being said, YouTube family, hope you guys enjoyed this video. You guys stay tuned. A lot more videos coming. I'm gonna be dropping like crazy. Not only that, peep this out. New York and Miami, here I come. So most likely, after I drop a few more videos, my next video will be in New York and then also in Miami. So I got a lot more stuff coming up, YouTube. And I have a lot more celebrities from New York and Miami's going to be popping in. Surprise, surprise. You guys know me. I can pop in with any celebrity at any time. That's just the way I get down. That being said, YouTube, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. To everyone you love, you love them. For all the kids out there, stay in school and stay on the right track. I'm gone.